YouTube, what's going on today, man? It's your boy Skylar back with another YouTube video. And today we are doing a little Starbucks mukbang QA video. Um, I got the classic strawberry lemonade. Um, we're leaking a little bit here. Uh, classic strawberry lemonade refresher, the best drink from Starbucks, uh, hands down. And uh, then I got myself. Uh, a little coffee cake too. It's like 6.30 right now, a little bit before I eat dinner, so I don't know why I'm doing this. It's for the video, to be honest, but this drink is crack. But anyways, yesterday on my Instagram, I went to my stories and asked for y'all to ask me some questions. It's been about four months since I did my last Q&A, so I decided I might as well do another one uh, since it's been a minute. And uh, yeah, so, oh, and if you don't follow me on my Instagram, it's at Skylar Finch. Um, I'm at Skylar Finch on basically every social media. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Venmo, Cash App. I got a few questions and I'm gonna answer them. So, let's see. Someone asked, how is your mental health? And have you been happier living in Cali? Uh, specifically LA. Uh, currently mental health, um, I'm doing good. Um, I'm not just saying I'm doing good because that's what everybody's default response is, right? But I think I'm doing good. Uh, Y'all know a few months ago I made a video saying like we need to talk or whatever and I was saying, you know, how I was doing uh, mentally and, you know, where I was and how things were going with me and stuff and uh, and how January and February were a little, little rough for me. Sorry, got to keep hand clean, you know, I'm about to eat this thing. Uh, I'm a weird clean freak sometimes. Yeah, and no, a few months ago, uh, like in my YouTube video, things were things were a little down. But honestly, now we're in April. I'm back kind of working again. And things are looking good. I'm feeling good. A lot, is ex a lot of exciting things coming that I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys. And yeah, so, and then have I been happier living in cali um happier it's a weird thing like happiness in it's such a weird thing that you know we all strive for right it's being happy but it's such a it's such a bold thing and like there's it's either happy or you're not and i feel like i feel like life is really just like you know staying here of course you know when things are dope and you, you, you're like, dang, this is dope. Like going on tour, doing all the shows, boom, I'm up here, right? And things can go down. It's the way life goes. So like, it's hard to be in the one state of just happy. You know what I mean? Like, I think I'm like content um, here in LA. Like I'm feeling good. Like, I think if I would have never moved here and I would have stayed in Montana, I think I would have probably got really down. I mean, I kind of already was... Um, prior to moving like in terms of like career wise like i just thought like no nothing was going anywhere i like i felt like i didn't know what to do like there was just no elevation back in montana um so yeah that's kind of i don't know if that answers the question of being happier here i'm definitely enjoying and glad that i made the move here because i'm doing things that um that i've always wanted to do and uh yeah so that's the answer to that question. Someone asked, I miss Montana. I guess you could say I miss it a little bit, but that's in terms of family aspect. Um, and my parents, my sister, brother-in-law, stuff like that, nephew. Of course I miss them. Friends as well um, that are still there. I definitely miss that aspect of it. In terms of the city itself, um, a little bit, I suppose. I would say the comfortability of being back there is something I miss. It's very comfortable, not a lot to worry about. Like I've said in previous vlogs, I'll catch myself so many times. I've been here for over a year. I'll catch myself so many times being like, yo, I really live in LA. Like, y'all don't even know. I'm the biggest Lakers fan in the world. And I used to dream and just like admire the city and like the Lakers and just there's something about it. and. That's a stupid way of liking a city, but that's just how it is for me. And the fact that I can drive by Staples Center anytime I want and just be around that area, there's just something magical. 
and of course all the opportunities it's crazy so um missing back home just for family and like it's nice to go back there and feel comfortable and not have to worry about you know an edit or something <laughs> but that that kind of stuff don't really matter a little um director music video question here handheld or gimbal what do i prefer i'd have to say in terms of look i think i like the gimbal more just because there's just something about the glidingness and um professionalism that comes with a gimbal but some handheld footage definitely i really like because it feels more authentic and raw especially in a music video like depending on what you're going for i probably have to say gimbal just because it looks very professional and if you do it right it looks really good it's really tiring though sometimes i'm doing videos i get exhausted leaning down filming moving a bunch about to hire somebody just to be a gimbal somebody so hit my dms <laughs> i'm serious though if y'all can if there's somebody out there in la that can mimic my gimbal movements low-key might need you uh next question so i'm gonna ask biggest advantages and disadvantages to moving to la as a creative uh biggest advantages of course is just the connections everybody is here literally everybody so it's just about getting around the right people the right areas the disadvantages as a creative is probably getting started for me i really got started pretty quickly like and y'all know the whole story uh, within the first few months of living here but the dis disadvantages is finding the right people and and finding the genuine people and like um people say all the people la fake and stuff i maybe haven't been here long enough to witness the fake stuff but i'm also very selective in my own friend group so it's just like my personality so i don't really be associating like with a lot of people to be like oh this person fake i think a lot of it is just to not take things personally if you run into those kind of people because everybody's doing their own thing everybody busy even with my people i'm now with now like you may not get a response or something like it's really just like i don't know it's weird like once you hear like you really just got to focus on yourself and like I, I don't know disadvantages yeah it's definitely just like getting started and like finding the right people i don't know if that's a disadvantage just, that's a part of it um so take it how you will next question uh somebody asked what's one song that all that you always come back to that gives you motivation if y'all don't know already i'm a huge drake fan i don't just listen to drake because he's good oh i like drake yeah, he's good music. Like, no, nah, it's like, he's literally my, like, he, I'm actually, I'm actually, like, huge fan. Like, I love his music, and I play it every day. It's not on some, oh, yeah, he's good. Like, because everybody likes him, you know? I genuinely listen to his stuff. Makes me so happy. So, two songs I would say that give me motivation. It's probably, like, God's Plan, or, like, it's really weird, but, like, Laugh Now, Cry Later, there's just something about the anthem feeling that's very motivating i don't know there's just something about the mood and laugh now cry later came out around the time i moved to la so i think there's probably a nostalgic factor that's what i was playing a lot when i moved here so yeah it's probably those two songs all right somebody asked how to become a photographer what brought you to doing photography um i did i answered this in the last q and a i did but short answer is i my dad's been a photographer and I grew up a lot around him with a camera and stuff and I think it kind of just stuck with me. Um, he lent me his own camera in college. I bought my own camera. That's kind of it. I've always had a camera in my hands my whole life. Manual focus or autofocus? Autofocus for sure. I don't, there's really very small uses of using manual focus. Really only for like music videos I think. Unless I'm a noob photographer, I don't know the need to use manual. It's like very specific situations. How'd you connect with big artists? I've answered that as well. Um, I guess you can watch my How I Met DDG video. That's kind of about it. it was me and him and then everybody else came along. Uh, someone said, would I collab on music videos with someone in a foreign country? Yeah, of course, I'd always be down. Of course, like, where's it gonna be? 
that's the biggest thing. <laughs> but I'm down for anything if price is right. You do any collaborations with other camera people from out of town? Yeah, I mean, if you hit me up in the DMs and something's right or you want to meet up um, and I got time, then I'm always willing to collab and, and meet with people, you know? All right, last question. Somebody asked, are you going on tour anytime soon? And the answer is yes, I am. Um, I, I believe I'm going on tour with DDG again. And I can't say what, who, who the tour is with, um, other than DDG, but yeah, going on tour soon again. So prepare for more content. Uh, I'm going to do this tour way better than I did the last one in terms of vlog and content. Um, I feel like during the Kevin Gates one, I didn't do as well. I feel like I got too caught up and it, you know, being my first tour is mentally mentally draining to try to create content y'all know the whole spiel i talked about it a lot during those videos if you haven't seen them um but yeah no tour coming real soon uh i can't wait for it to get announced so i can actually tell y'all but um y'all know when it comes out so i think that's gonna do it though that's kind of all the good questions we had uh from the q a so i hope you guys enjoyed it um, I kind of enjoy doing these videos just because um, it helps me update y'all on uh, my life and stuff and answer questions y'all want to know. I'll be forgetting people, there's people that actually like watch my videos and there's people that actually watch my videos and stuff. I forget that like some people like actually care. Like I'm so new to like, like people wanting to see my stuff. So um, yeah, I just, I just like doing these every couple months. Yeah, if you have any other video ideas down below, let me know. Um, I'm always looking for some because I don't be doing a whole lot every day. Maybe more behind the scenes music video stuff. I really got to do that, to be honest. More content on the way. And yeah, appreciate you following me on the journey. Um, if you're here, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Follow me on all my socials, like I said. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Skyler, and I'm out. Peace. To stop me, I must go to the gate, skip the lobby. All these hoes wanna love, but they can't have me. My heart's low, need a ride, they can't find me.